Hello everyone. I'm going to do a video for you on the broody hen from start to finish. So right now we're starting in the broody stage. This little lady here has been broody for about a week and hear her scream, hear her cluck. She won't leave my nest box so I know she's broody. And about two days ago I gave her some eggs to set on and I marked them and have to pull out the extra eggs that other hens lay a couple times a day or otherwise they're going to start incubating which is gross um so what i'm going to do with her next tonight is i'm going to move her to her own little space with those eggs i like giving her eggs so that she kind of becomes attached to them makes it a little easier to move her so let's go out and see where i'm going to move her this is one of my little broody coops and i started using it last year and it works wonderful for a hen and her chicks and um there it is. What I did to set it up is I put wood shavings in it. I got a box from a grocery store and I like to do that. You wouldn't have to do it. I just do it to kind of keep the eggs in one spot. And under the cover of darkness tonight, which I feel is the key to this whole moving, is I'm going to get those eggs out and put them in that box. And then I'm going to slide that hen right in there when it's totally dark on top of those eggs. So she immediately feels those eggs that she's used to and wants to stay in that box. So we're going to come back out at dark and we are going to see how that goes when we put her in there. Okay, it's very dark. So I'm going to switch this broody hen out into a little coop and everything is ready for her. So since it's dark and all the chickens are on the roost, I'm going to sneak in here and we'll see her still sitting in there on that nest. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sneak the eggs out one at a time and I will probably turn my headlamp on once I figure out what I'm doing there. And I'm going to sneak those eggs out from under her and get them in the box in the coop that I showed you earlier. And then I'm going to bring her out and stick her in on that box without my headlamp so that she doesn't see what's going on. Okay, so I got the eggs out from under her. And I'm gonna stick them right in this little box. They have smiley faces on them. That's how I keep them straight in there in the nest box. So got the eggs in here, slide that in there. And when I get her, I'm gonna stick her right on top of those eggs. I missed an egg. Okay, so it's dark. I'm gonna slip her. She won't even walk. She's so broody there. So I'm gonna stick her on those eggs and I'm gonna close the door. And I'm gonna stand out here for a while and maybe in five minutes, I am going to probably not use this blaring headlight whatsoever, but I'm gonna open up the door and um, see what she's doing and make sure she's sitting on them in the dark and um, if she looks like she's staying put, then I'm gonna go ahead and go inside. And um, I will come back out and check in the morning first thing to make sure that everything is good because I don't want her destroying the eggs, which is another reason why you might want to try this with eggs that aren't super, super important. I wouldn't do this if I had shipped hatching eggs or something. But um, until you make sure that she's ready to sit on the eggs. So a lot of times I won't even give her the real eggs I want her to set until I've got her situated. But that is one really easy way to try to move a broody hen. It's been about a week and a half and my broody hen is still sitting on her eggs. She's doing really well with them it seems. Now I did just come out and find a broken egg with a very developed embryo in it. Kind of broken down here. I'm not sure what happened. I noticed the I noticed that her little food and water were both dumped over like there was some type of a skirmish that happened but the other chickens weren't in there. I don't exactly know what happened. But she's a first time broody. So these are things to look for. Some of them will definitely eat their eggs and um kill the chicks even so I suggest not try starting out with really valuable eggs when you're just testing a broody but other than that everything is going well questions I often see are my broody head doesn't seem to be eating should I pull her off the nest and 
my suggestion to that is no, that they will come out and eat when they want as long as you make food and water available, which she has down here. And I often open the doors to her little coop so she can go out and dust bathe. But anytime you go pulling her off of the nest, and I kind of suspect that may be what happened with this egg, is a lot of times they'll get eggs stuck under their wings and you risk breaking eggs, dumping them all over, upsetting her. Broody hens know what they're doing. Um, I, th I know there are stories of them that have starved to death and that may be, but most of the time they know what they're doing. So I just kind of let them do their, do their thing. So I'm going to candle these eggs in the next couple days and remove any that are clear at this point because they should be showing some development. And that is probably going to be about all I do with those eggs. I'll just leave them. And then a couple days after hatch, I know she's going to take her chicks off that are ready. So I don't even excessively candle a lot with broody hens. So the next time we see her, she should have some chicks. Or we're going to have a really sad story. We'll see how it goes. Today is day 21 of our broody hen, so I wonder if she's got some babies in there. I don't know if I said earlier, but it's 21 days of incubation. Let's listen. I don't know if you can hear, I hear babies. Can we see? We have some babies in there. There's a baby. Oops, we got a baby. Look how cute. Oops, she's not happy. So it's 21 days here for incubation, and I follow the same rule of thumb with my incubator. After about 18 days, I might candle those eggs in the 18th day, and then I leave this hen completely alone. I don't mess with her. Um, about a day or two before hatch, I get some a plate with some crumble on it and a little chick water, because what she's going to do is keep these babies in here probably for today at least, and then maybe tonight she'll bring them out around the plate, give them food and water, maybe tomorrow. And then she's just going to hang tight with them for a day or two before she tries to go out with them. So we'll keep an eye on that and see how she does once she gets them out and see exactly how many have hatched. Okay, I'm back the next day. And I went ahead and took the box out that I, if you remember, I had a box that I moved all the eggs into. And... After the chicks have all hatched, I go ahead and get that box out. I've had bad experiences with them not being able to get in the box with the hen and chicks trampled or squished in the back or just cold. So I went ahead and took the um, box out. And I also gave her some other chicks that I hatched on my own in my incubator. So she's got 12 chicks in there today. And I noticed she's not taking them up to food yet. So I think she'll be doing that. The next time you see her is going to be when she has those chicks out running around with them, so we'll see how that goes. It is day five, and she's finally got all these chicks out here pretty early in the day. She's been trying to get them out, but they're not all following her out of the coop, but today is day five, she's got them out. So the big thing to do for her is to make sure that she's got shelter. It's been pretty windy, so I've been putting boards up to block the wind. But um, make sure they have food and water. She can be really hard. A mama hen can be hard on a waterer because she kicks and digs trying to show them food and water. So you want to make sure you keep it clear. It gets pretty filled with mud. But overall, she does a great job taking care of these babies. And you can see they hide under her when they get cold. They run back and forth. So she's got 12 and she's done really good with them so far. Um, one thing to keep in mind is it usually takes about a week, I've found, before they have figured out how to follow her up into coops um, to get to bed at night. So be prepared if you're letting them run around is to find them in the evening, huddled up somewhere, and be ready to start catching chicks with a butterfly net or something and putting up with attacks from mom if you're going to try to get them back up into a place like I have them in this coop because it takes about a week. Um, this time, since they have a little area in here, I'm going to keep them penned up probably another two days. So for a full week before I start opening the doors and letting them go out. And um, at that point, they're going to be able to just free range wherever they want with the rest of the flock. So this is Mama Hen. She will keep those chicks with her. And my experience has been anywhere from about three to four weeks up to, I've had one that kept her chicks with her for four, no, I'm sorry, it was about three months. She was still letting those babies try to shove under her and sleep. So, um, 
So you can keep them as long as you want. And um, the ideally, we'll eventually just take them into the main coop with her and integrate them on her own. But again, my experience has been the hens eventually leave the chicks. The chicks get attached to their coop. In this case, it may be this one. And they will keep going back into this coop, and eventually the mom goes back on her own. And um, that's usually how it goes. So I hope this helps you and encourages you to try hatching with the broody hen. They are amazing to watch and a lot of fun, but some special challenges too. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to us so you don't miss any of our chicken videos.